In today's video, I will show you how to start the process of recovering pincer nails caused by damage and nail fungus in the toenails of a marshal from Indiana in his 60s, so stay tuned. Do you see the little black speckles in his nail? They are called splinter hemorrhages. They are caused from the toenail squeezing the tip of the toe, and the white lines you see going down the nail vertically are caused from the pressure. The nail fungus is very dehydrating and causes the nail to squeeze in and the nail bed was injured from the pressure and caused those little blood speckles. And once he starts using the nail mycosis by Imperial Thief to get rid of the nail fungus, the toenail will stop squeezing the tip of his toe and flatten out more. Sometimes I put acrylic at the back of the nail if it is really bad, but he only has a touch of nail fungus at the tip and this should resolve pretty quickly. Over and over. Oh, good. Some of my like, you know, I like certain ones, and I think, I gotta put you. That's great. Yeah, people don't realize, like, um, I think I would have been a good police officer. Like, I'm a pretty good detective. My kids are always like, how'd you catch me? <laughs> I saw you had, you did your husband one day, didn't you? Oh, yeah, I've done him. A I saw one of his videos, videos and I, Homer. I don't know. If you're new here, welcome. Please subscribe and turn on your notifications in case you are chosen as the winner in the random comment game. Uh, are you diabetic? Do you have any health problems that no. I need to know about? No. no? Okay, good. No, I'm, I'm good health for, you know, I think for my age, I'm, I've had knee replacements, but other than that, I mean, I, you know, nothing, I don't take any, any medicine or anything. To, to speak of. Good. Are you still working? Uh huh. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I just work in a small town. I'm I'm the town marshal, so. Oh, nice. It's pretty. It's pretty easy to, at my age to, to work. You know, we're we're just a, it's just a small town. I got just a couple of guys work for me. And I, I'm a canine handler, so that makes it nice too. Got a dog to be with all the time. And... Do you watch that show Justified? Oh, absolutely. Oh, I love that show. It's like I, my favorite. Oh, I was so sad love, when it was over. I, I know it. I love Raylan. Oh my God, Raylan's my favorite. He's, I got a little crush on Raylan after watching that whole series. Who was it? Somebody? I was like, I need me a cowboy. I'm like, honey, you want some boots? <laughs> oh, I know who it was. Uh, uh, what's your name? Wooden Spoon. Uh, oh yeah, Dawn Melissa. No. Yeah, yeah, Melissa. Oh my God, she she's got to have a crush on Raylan. Oh, oh I think Raylan has a lot of admirers. Yeah, I like he's a good actor. Yes. I hate it when I'm like you. They took that off. That was one of my favorite shows. Yep. I couldn't wait to get home and watch that. I'm going to check underneath this nail with my ingrown toenail rasp to make sure that I'm not going to be trimming any of the skin that is underneath the nail because this nail has squeezed in we were as well. Back in the spring, and right around that time, weren't you down there? We were there in June. In June. Okay. Yep. I saw that. And I, I told. I told Linda. I said, "Well, I wish we had known." Yes. You could have come and been my model at my class. <laughs> The product that he's going to be taking home to start using is called the Nail Mycosis by Imperial Feet, and I've been doing my best to try to collect before and after photos as people are coming in after using the Nail Mycosis, and you can find those before and after photos on Imperial Feet USA's Facebook page. Some people just try to hold real still, and when you're real still, you're kind of stiff. some of your tools while I'm here too. Okay. Linda said we're sitting up here, she says, what kind of what kind of toenail polish are you gonna put on? What color? <laughs> <laughs> you could do it. Is it negative? Bruce said negative. he would. My kids would my boys would they'd kill me. He said it would make for a good video, honey. Is that your husband? Yeah. I said it would. 
I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a video of Bruce, but I'm going to very soon, I promise. I'm pull up this pinky for me. A problem that nail technicians have is when you're giving someone, especially a man, because they have really long legs, a pedicure, they get comfortable and their knees fall out to the sides and that makes the I foot told him that he could talk again turn and outwards and you cannot himself. see to file or clip the nails. So I have them move their knees to the center and that's what I just had him do. I do, yeah. A lot of women bring their husbands they're like, that's it, I've had it. You're going to see Lori. <laughs> Putting holes in the sheets. I put holes in my socks. Mm-hmm, that too. So this one I will thin out a little bit just to change the shape a little. Okay. all this stuff that like where doctors would love to have people come in with toes like mine take their toenails off probably how did you just time or did you take me to school for that so special well my schooling is just as a nail technician the rest of it like I've bought books over the years I, I have read different medical books on feet and podiatry books and stuff like that um, but most of it is a lot of common sense it's a lot of knowing well, how nobody else around that I know that does what you do Oh really? They don't give pedicures well, around where not, you live? Not like not right and do what you do. Right. Well, a lot. Know. It's been cheapened over the years by little walk-in you know shops that all they yeah, do they is want to polish. Does. You know, mm. they, a pedicure is not polishing someone's toenails. It's actually cleaning and shaping, and caring for the bottoms of the feet. Even a foot and leg massage is part of a pedicure. Service, I just so. wondered where you picked up on so much of your of your knowledge. If it was just experience, or if you, you know, I didn't know. So yeah, that's a copy. Of what you know. Mm hmm. Well, and that's the detective in me. When somebody comes in with something that's looking kind of crazy, I'm like, well, what caused that? And you look at the way their toes grow and the, what shoes they have on. And if something's pushing over here, and you're like, oh, yep, you need some space, like right I've, in yeah, here. I've seen you do that with people. Yep. Yeah. And then they get better. So I've been doing this for 25 years. It's a lot of feet. Lots and lots of feet. I average about at least 20 pedicures a week. So 20 pedicures a week at 25 years is a lot of feet. A lot of feet. And a lot of are the same feet. And so I can watch them change over the years. And then I think, well, what did you do different and what changed? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> I've never known of anybody, and just from some of the comments in your, you know, in your videos, other people are the same. Like we're, we don't have anybody like you around. Right. You know, once I found out you were in Michigan, I figured, well, it's my luck. She'll be in California. <laughs> well, that might have been nice this time and, of year. When I, when I found wow. out you were up here, I thought California well, that'd be worth a drive. Well, I am trying to work on doing an online training academy to teach people to share because I don't share a lot when I like what I talk about is pretty superficial in my videos and then so other nail technicians around the country can start providing kinds of services that people are really in need of I have amazing news I have developed the first ever left-handed angled cuticle pusher and they are now available on my online store it's pretty easy to clean around toenails that have not been squeezed, but you do need to use a little bit more finesse when you're cleaning around a toenail that has pushed up the nail bed into a different shape because there is a lot less space and you don't want to press into the skin too hard and cause any discomfort. Mm 
Now, are your feet sore? No. Okay, that's good. Sometimes when the nails are squeezing the tips of the toes for so long, people's tips of their toes just feel achy. I used to have more problems than I do. Well, but I just, lately I, I haven't had Now, I did cut them, I don't know, a few weeks back, and this one, this big toe on this other foot, it was, it, it got to be a little bit sore. So I may have had a little bit of a hook down in there, you know, like mm -hmm. some way. I could have, I could have had that going on on that foot. And as far as, you're like, I'm not in the area, I'm so sorry, I'm out of town. <laughs> well, what's amazing, we got a new app on our phone, and that's our dispatch from, from Indiana. Right, yeah. So that's, I thought I had to turn it off. Oh, thank you. It wasn't made, but my husband um, got it in a jewelry store in New York, and it has a matching diamond tennis bracelet to go with it. Thanks. How big a town is you pronounce it? Saline or Saline? Saline. 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 Um, the city of Celine, Celine proper, is only 8,000 people. And then there's Celine Township. And I'm not sure how many they have. Yeah. But you know, Ann Arbor is just right down the street. And there's, a, you know, so many colleges around here. I came up in Toledo and that way, I think I'm going back. I'm going to go back to cold water and go that way. Mm -hmm. I don't know how far cold water is in the area. So the reason why I'm thinning out the center here is because the thinner it is, but I don't want to go too thin because these stress lines, uh -huh. they can crack if it gets too thin and you don't then want to split that's going to get snagged on your socks or anything like that. But the product will moisturize quickly the toenail the whole toenail if it's a little bit thinner and then it'll be able to lift up easier okay. and then in six eight weeks we're gonna end up cutting all of this stuff off anyway yeah and then when it starts to grow it'll be easier for you to cut at home okay but it won't keep getting thick like that because as these corners lift up, it won't squeeze this skin at the tip anymore. And the skin's getting pushed up underneath there. And that's what's um, making stuff adhere to the back of your nail. All of the dead skin cells mm -hmm. and stuff that really shouldn't be right. shoved up inside of there. Yeah. And that's not even my bad toe. <laughs> okay. The other, the other big one's worse than it. How much, how much you get out of some of those sidewalls. I know. I figured mine's going to be loaded too, but maybe not. Not too bad. Once it comes out of the water for the second time, because once you get one layer off, then the water can start soaking into the rest of it. We'll get another little layer off. This is the callus remover I'm applying with my applicator brush. And you can also you find, you can find every that. single thing that I use in this mm -hmm. video, including the purple soap that's in the tub on my online store. Here are all these homemade remedies, you know, you know right. bleach water and all this other stuff. And Vic, Vicks Vapor Rub and I'm not having anything to do anything with it. No, it doesn't really work. Yeah, that'll flatten out. That one might take about four months but you'll notice a big difference in just eight weeks. So we we'll, we'll have another day trip. I used to go to Michigan four or five times a year back when I used to come snowmobiling.
I felt That's like okay. I was. You're just trying to hold still. You're like, I, I I'm a heard you mannequin. Other people. Just relax. I'm a mannequin. If you look at the tip of his big toe, you can see that thick layer. And that is actually just old layers of skin cells that have been compacted and pushed up, almost forming a callus underneath the nail. And that is purely just from the toenail squeezing the nail bed and pushing those cells up against the back of the nail. So these are tricky to cut because the arch is so severe. Yeah. So I'm going to trim the corner first, then I'm going to go backwards, and then I'm going to trim this corner, and then I'm going to get the center part. Okay. And that's where all of the fuzz hides. <laughs> Yeah, when they get like this, people don't know how low they can go to be safe, and it's harder to trim them because they're thick like that. Yeah. Well, I've heard you talk about where you look at the white, where the white line mm -hmm. is, and, or how you describe it. And... Yeah. hard for me because I had to have my neck fused so I can't really look down that far. I, I saw you I saw you guys there. My son yeah. just just had a surgery like that. Yeah. Where they went in through there and went back and fused I forget what he did, but that's yeah. just I mean it has it's still fairly new. It's only been about three weeks. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah I had um four and five and five and six. Were well, you having pain down your shoulder and your arms? Mm-hmm. That's what he was, too. Yeah. It's amazing that they go through the front and do it. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's too dangerous from the back. Yeah, I, I didn't, I never thought that much about it. In, in Indianapolis, and the doctor that did his had, had, it, had it done to him. Okay. So. Yeah, they told me, this was five years ago now, I think. And they told me I had to have the ones above and below it done too, but it would, I could wait for a few years until they really started giving me trouble. And I was like, no way, I don't ever want to do that. Cause then I won't be able to bend my neck at all. I don't want to be completely stiff. And so now I have to be very careful with, so now I have to go like this to see stuff. I can't go like, that, you know what I mean? I've got some arthritis in my neck and I, I catch myself at times doing the assembly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just have to move different. Well, we have a daughter-in-law. <clears throat> she got her hip replaced Too far from here. She's yeah. up, I think, up, how far is cold water from here? I'm not sure. It's that way, but it's it's, it's back to maybe now. 69, six, or 69 comes up from Fort Wayne and turns into 70. Anyway, she's from up in that area. Okay. 
she's not too far from home. Yeah, she's she's stiff when she bends over, you can tell. Yep. She's got a zipper from her neck to her butt. Wow. That's what it looks like, you know. She's got great posture. Right. But she's got young kids and it's sometimes you can tell it's difficult picking up kids. And, yep. I don't know that she picks them up. I've seen her pick the end of a chest and clear down, oh. squat, and stand straight up. So, yeah, it's. She became an adult and let her make the decision. My kids. Right, know. yeah. <clears throat> so, can she not bend just while she's healing, or will all of her vertebrae just be fused? Her, all of because oh, okay. those rods in there just won't yeah, let them, right. let them yeah. you know, they just hold her straight. Yep. But she get, she gained two inches? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's what my son said after his. He says, well, Doc told me I'd be a quarter of an inch taller. He's my shortest of my four boys. Nice. You should have had him put in a six-inch extender. <laughs> yeah. Kind of weird knowing that you have donor bone in your neck. Mm. Did they keep you overnight? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was there for two days. Well, he was only there for one. They really said he was going to go home, and then he wasn't doing well with the anesthesia they gave him, and so we decided, yeah, you need to stay. You know? He's still not back to work yet. I had to be off for three months. Hopefully he gets to go back to work before that. Yeah, well, they were going to send me back this week, the 16th. Wow. And he went to the doctor and said, hey, you know, it's just going to be light duty. Right. And he said, you know, the way things are, he says, well, you know. He said, I'll just wait so I think he's going to wait now like the first of the year. Oh, that's good. I mean, it'll just be like, I think he some, needs of the, rest. some of the detectives are, are wanting him to come over and work with them until for the light duty stuff because they need, you know, paperwork stuff. You know? Right. We heard you talking. Isn't she hilarious? I love her so much. She's like, when should I tell him I don't want the hanky panky? I just want to know if he has a toolbox, a real toolbox. We heard you. Heard, what was it you said? They, want, they, oh. they proposed to her after five minutes. Yes. I, heard, I heard you say that. Oh, it's so funny. So have I got a lot of stuff down in those side walls? Just a bit. But not, not terrible. Not terrible. And then some of the stuff you pull out of some of the people, it's like, wow. I know. some of the videos that I've seen her do that she can do some of them. She, 
toe looks really very similar to Bruce's second big toe. This other foot, I had a, had a knuckle joint taken out of it and, and it was fused back. It didn't turn out very good like I wanted it to. But I don't really have any problem. Oh, yep. Something slipped. Yeah. That's why I use the ceramic stuff because this is, if it accidentally did touch somebody's skin, if their foot slipped, it wouldn't really hurt them. Is the stuff you put on before you did it, is it just to keep the particles from flying around? Yes. So we've had people come here from California, Texas. Mm-hmm. Did they just make a special trip or were they vacationing and just, just... No, they made special trips, yeah. Wow. A couple from Florida? Mm-hmm. And now one from India. I thought, I thought my drive was quite a ways. North Carolina, Pennsylvania, yeah. Kentucky, Ohio, Wisconsin, even up in Canada. Wow. I didn't see one up there. <coughs> Oh, what, red one? Yep. Oh, I see it now. I see it. the weather was good. I, I'd be my luck. It'd be snowing really bad when we come up here. It's gonna, because I, you know, yeah. I wasn't sure how long the, you know, I know what Google Maps said, but I thought, well, we ran into a traffic jam in Toledo. I thought, oh my goodness, that's all I need. But we get here pretty much right on time. That's good. All right, you can bend that knee and put that foot right back in the water. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to visit my channel. People like you are the reason for my success and I appreciate it so much. But remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for all the latest videos. Remember it is free and I'll see you next time.